What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Welcome back to the Rota for Champions RTG edition. And for the first time in a long time, I could look at you in the face and say, Yo, I sold a player and we actually made profit. Yo, we actually, like, he got us Elite One, which is a great finish. He played all 40 games, which is amazing. And then we made like 100,000 coins on the bros. That is absolutely, unbelievably amazing. I cannot believe it. Obviously, we did take a little bit of a hit. You know, we like to lose coins. That's what we do. Uh, we, did, we did lose a little bit of coins on somebody, but I'm going to show you exactly what happened. Ladies and gentlemen, by the title, you could probably tell that Cristiano Ronaldo is going to be joining the road to glory. Yo, if you enjoyed this series, could you smash 10,000 likes on this? That would be absolutely unbelievable. But yeah, man, with that being said, I just thought that it was time um and this time he this is it you know i said this about maldini i said it about mateus uh and now i'm saying it about ronaldo they're not leaving mateus maybe one day could leave but ronaldo maldini rio these guys are not going man we are sticking with cristiano ronaldo now because i need a striker especially after the patch where it feels like defensive lines sit even deeper i need a ronaldo so ronaldo is here how did we manage manage to get him ladies and gentlemen unfortunately Valencia, who I love, who was amazing, who was greatly good, the GOAT, and it's a GOATly thing to say that we made money, right? So I listed him for 610k because that's what his price was going for on Sunday night, Monday morning, Monday Monday morning, I believe it was. Monday morning, I bought I bought this Valencia for 520. Uh, you can go back on the episode and check. Can I see any more? Okay, I can't see no more, but we bought him for like 520, 540. And we sold them for 610. So even after taxes, we made a little bit of money. I sold some of these Brazilian guys that we had that are in the K League, or is that is the J League? I think it's the K League. Um, and then we sold Hullet. Now on Hullet, we took it out. We bought Hullet for a million ten, and we sold them for a million five. After taxes, we are going to lose some money, unfortunately. It's not really what I was after, but um, we sold Valencia and then we sold Hullet, which got us up to 1.6 million coins. And I was able to turn around and buy the one, the only, the one of the best players to ever play football, Cristiano, big boy, Ronaldo. And I got him for a whopping 1.4, 1,485,000 coins. That's nuts. He always goes for 1.5. We got him for 1.1.485, which is amazing. I've already played two games with him, three goals and one and two assists. You know the CR7 doing CR7 type things. But today, we got some more things to talk about. CR midfield looks okay to play the 4-2-3-1, but then I started to think. And when I start to think, you guys know it's never a good thing. I started to think, and I started to think a lot about what we could do. Now, as you guys know, um, there is a few big cards we have chilling on our account. And what you do know as well... As I have been saving a lot of these big cards for when R9 comes out because we want big boy R9. Now, because of Luis Hernandez, one of them, and Ronaldinho, two of them, we are one icon away from being able to complete R9 when he first comes out. So I started to think to myself, we're in the 4-2-3-1 right now and having uh, uh, my man Luis Hernandez outside is pretty good. I really enjoy playing Mateus as an outside cam in the 4-2-3-1, which I'm probably going to be playing. But that would mean I need another midfielder. So who could we replace? Who could we put there? And I started to think to myself, if we lose Hullet, who's a medium-medium CDM type-ish player, what about if we unlock right card? And I'm not talking about his loan. I'm talking about legitimately unlocking right card. And then what we do is when R9 comes out, we turn in right card, Luis Hernandez and Ronaldinho. We're in a pretty good spot. Also, when R9 drops, we can sell Thierry Henry if we don't want him no more because we'll have well, he's going to be a striker. We can use the money from him to also complete that R9 alongside the icons we already have. Now, this will be very difficult to complete. I think we're going to need AC Milan players. Um... How many AC Milan? Three AC Milan players. So first of all, the first task here, and I'm not going to complete it right now with you guys. You guys probably think that's boring. Do we have AC Milan players? I see one. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to change it. You know what? I could just change it. It'll be really quick. I see one Milan player. Um, no, a few. Look, one right there, one right there, and one right there. Is the rating big? I don't even think the rating matters. So you drop him right there. You drop him right there. So we can easily finish this. I gotta buy two cards pretty much. And and that's and the, the cards won't even I wouldn't even waste the 80. So this one's hella easy. That one is extremely easy. Like I said, we're about to jump into um 
We are about right here. You need two Ajax players and five players from the same league. That one's pretty easy. And then here you need 10 players from the Netherlands. Uh, we would have to buy Netherlands. But the, the, these right here don't cost a lot of money, man. These are cheap. The ones that cost a lot of money are the 84s, the 85s, 86, and 87. These cost a lot of money. But at the same time, it's not that bad. And I'll show you why it's not that bad really quickly. Um, we've been lucky and we've gotten a lot of good untradeable high rated cards for example you see my 84s you see my 86s look at this iniesta james rodriguez uzil Bonucci, and right there already we have an 88 another 88 um another 87 and then another 87 which means we now need one two three four five six seven seven high rated cards um and if i go you know what i would probably need a, a, a few more 87s um but we could buy a few more 87s to get it done so that the one of the biggest ones the hardest ones we've almost already completed it these 86s we would keep for the 86 one um the 85s we would keep for the 85 one which we have a ton of 85s not that many and then we got a, a ton of 84s this is something i'm really thinking heavily about doing i'm gonna jump into a gameplay with you guys right now playing with cristiano ronaldo and showing you how much i love him in the 4 2 3 1. all right let's see what we get matched up against in division one a nice team he's in the 4 3 1 2 i actually ran that formation this weekend got us elite one he got stuck. some good teams some good players larson i didn't like that car uh bird camp a fantastic card recall a good card pull y'all not the best center back you can have but still a pretty decent card let's see what we could do against a pretty good team in division one so this is how the team lines up right now mateus and Vieira at cdms with thierry Henry lozano and, and luis hernandez at cam i do like to play uh Mateus out there at cam but I would need another CDM and that's why I talked about right card because I like Mateus that left cam because he goes forward he's fast enough to go forward he's a high high 87 pace on him with nothing on um so he, he attacks well as a high high he defends super well he comes back and tracks back so well but again the problem is right now I can't do that I got to be using Luis Hernandez out there because we don't have another CDM unless I bring in Bakioko, which you guys are not too fond about big boy Bakioko. Now, Thierry Henry as a middle cam, I love it because he's a medium medium, which means he likes to camp right outside the box for those finesse shots from outside like that one, but it doesn't work. Lozano, nice little cut back for Lozano. He's in there. I was about to bang it, but Jordi Alba stepped up to that one quickly. When that, yes, 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 Maldini. Thierry Henry right back on it. I slide it into the one, the only big boy, Cristiano Ronaldo. Cuts back Puyol right there. Puyol just looks sexy in this game. Puyol is one of my favorite icons to watch in real life that's in the game. I really like that guy. Stepping up like an idiot, but steal it nicely. We got a chance here. Luis Hernandez turning on the afterburners. Look at his speed on Luis Hernandez. Still with it, Luis Hernandez. Let me cut back on him. Luis fighting for it. Doing well. Finds the boy Vieira in the box. Low driven finesse in there like swimwear. Babuya, baby. Big boy Vieira doing Vieira type things. That's not really Vieira type things. Big boy Vieira doing hullet type things. Getting into the box and scoring like a boss. I got him on stay back while attacking. So again, left cam, Luis Hernandez. Right cam, Lozano. Middle cam, Thierry Henry. With the medium, medium, which is lovely. And the reason you need Cristiano Ronaldo, in my opinion, the 4-2-3-1. Because there's not too many cards that have the physical ability with the speed of Cristiano Ronaldo. The finishing ability. And then more importantly, the fact that he is very something very important this is the fact that a lot of people don't think don't remember about ronaldo um buying him he's a high low which means he's always going to be around that box man he's always going to be camping waiting for that shot look at this Ooh, cristiano ronaldo cristiano ronaldo for me bros since like fifa 15 14 going forward cristiano ronaldo has been the best car in the game i'm yet to play with brazilian ronaldo but cristiano ronaldo is always the best player in the game. He has the height, he has the strength, he has the speed, he has the passing, he has the shooting, and he's a high-low, which means he's exactly what you need in a number nine position. Thierry Henry is gonna be getting assists for days. That's why I don't mind him on seven chemistry, because he'll be right behind big boy Ronaldo. And then Luis Hernandez creating. Now, if we could get that right card, it changes a lot, because we'll be set up to the point where right card and Vieira will be our CDMs. And then, hey, good, good save. Um, and then, uh, Mateus would be an outside cam and if things get sticky we can always go back to our known formation that we really like which is the 4-1-2-1-2 uh, we can easily go back to it because Vieira will be our CDM our left cam would be um, 
right card instead of being Hullet. And then the right the right cam would be Mateus or the right CM. Um, so that's what we would do in the 4 one 2 and 2 So if we got right card, we would be set up for every formation in the game uh, pretty much. And if we don't get them, then we're really heavily set up for the 4 2 three, one And when I get in a sticky situation, I'll have somebody on the bench where I can sub out Luis Hernandez. Probably have... Um, Maybe just the regular gold Goretzka or something on the bench. So I could just bring him in if needed. Luis Hernandez chilling. Drop the finesse. Walker blocks it. I've been seeing a few people opting to go at Valencia. Also, I forgot to tell you, I bought back... Um, I mean, we'll go, that people going on Walker. Sorry about that. Uh, but um, penalty, bros. I've been seeing a lot of people go with Walker. And I also bought... That's what I was saying. I got completely confused. I bought Valencia. And I actually bought him for like a whopping 18,000 coins. He was so cheap. Do we give this to Ronaldo because it's Ronaldo? I think so. Not because the video is showing off. Because that's who our penalty taker is supposed to be. Let's pop it right there. Yes, baby. Ronaldo with a double. Um, but yeah, man. Like I was saying... I got him for like 18,000 coins. He usually goes for around 20. I got very lucky. Again, I bought him Monday morning. I mean morning, like 6 in the morning type thing. Um, so I got extremely lucky buying him. But Cristiano Ronaldo on his debut for back with the team on YouTube. He got two. The penalty don't really count. But he's doing everything that we know he does, man. This is what Ronaldo does. He beasts, he feasts on people. And if you got Puyol in the back, it's not going to be an easy day for you with that slow pace against Cristiano. Big boy Mateus, Maldini, Larson. Stop that. Sometimes those balls just... How did that actually fall back to him after we defended it so well? And what is that for a pass? Can somebody... Monday, no! I, it should be 2-1. It should be 2-1. We're lucky it's not 2-1. But it's the reason why we're in the 4-2-3-1, bros, is... Ever since the patch, like I said in yesterday's episode, if you watch that. Also, sorry if anybody thought that was clickbait. I, 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 put, I unlocked an icon. I should have put Lone SBC. My fault about that. But anyways, going back to... Um, Going back to what I was saying, um, ever since the patch, if you missed yesterday's video, I just feel like the lines sit deeper. You know, you're deep, it's easier it's easier to sit back and, and wait for your opponent to make a mistake now. And, and I think with that being said, the 4-2-3-1 is, is perfect. Or anything that's kind of defensive is perfect to, to run right now, in my opinion. Luis Hernandez, keep that in. And then find Ronaldo, and here it is. This is where, this is where you just, you can't do much. You can't do much. You're just too vulnerable. You can't do much. You're like when you when you get ahead with Ronaldo, right? You're ahead now. Your opponent has to push forward, and that's when you're just gonna slay an easy through pass. And I mean, who's catching him? You better have a team of the year Ramos back there, or, or it's lights out. So that's why he's so important in the four two three one. If you're running four two three one, you gotta have people to be able to you know attack very quickly with because your team is so defensive. And having Thierry Henry feeding Ronaldo is probably best case scenario. Um, let me just swing that one right back in. Can pull y'all defend him? Let's find out. I slow down. Surely a foul. Ronaldo. You know what? He's going to get his assist on. Never mind. Offside. I was trying to get his assist on, bro. I tried to get him an assist to Luis Hernandez right there. Maybe I should have just taken the shot. My homie's staying through it, man. He ain't rage quitting. This guy, this guy's rocking it out with it. It's the best way to learn how to play FIFA 2. Even when you're losing, you can learn something from somebody kind of beating you pretty bad. You can see how they're playing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, so you can get back into games, too, like that. Big boy Mane. It's money time. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Oh, oh, oh. give me a Red Bull. It gives me wings. All right. So we made it to halftime, right? And you can see our possessions pretty nice. We have given up a few shots, which I'm not really digging. Now, for the sake of the episode, I could switch out of this formation and give you guys... You know, what could happen in the weekend league if a game gets tricky. But instead of doing that, I'm just going to bring in the big boy, Sonaldo, who's an absolute monster. And actually, you know what I should do? Is I'm going to bring in Bakioko. And I'm going to show you why I like Mateus out at the left cam. You're going to be able to see him the way he drops back defensively. So, picture Bakioko as a right card. To be honest, he might be better than right card, to be honest with you. Uh, but um, imagine him. Now, I have played with right card because my brother uh, bought right card on his account on playstation and i uh i played i played a game of division one with him which was pretty fun look at lozano turning on the afterburners bros you're just not catching this card lozano still with it into thierry Henry, down to ronaldo and then the low driven easy peasy when you got cristiano ronaldo i was gonna take that shot with thierry Henry, but i swear to you auto blocks in this game are nuts right now so i didn't feel that the low driven with david luis standing there beside the keeper was ever gonna go in so i wasn't trying to feed ronaldo there i promise you that i just felt that i had the better angle because look look if i shoot that with what's his name you didn't show that the, the the thing correctly but i, I thought puyol would have just auto blocked it we're back up five three though there you go i mean five two my fault let me swing that all the way back keep possession you're gonna be able to watch mateus man watch his movements watch what he does 
He gets off, he gets in the box. Look, he's already back defending. Look at that. He took Vieira's spot. He's back defending. Vieira comes up, steals that easy peasy, and here goes Mateus. See what we can do with him. Big boy Mateus still with it. Swings it into big boy Thierry Henry. Let me cut back. I see Lozano. It goes to Mateus instead. I cut inside. Mateus, ah, oh, baby. I could have passed that off. Probably should have. Now Bakioko. Even Bakioko get involved, baby. Get back, get back, get back. Quick, 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 quick. Lozano, stay with Lozano. Stay with Lozano. Get Lozano back, Mateus. You see? It's something serious with Mateus. Bakioko, oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. You got to shoot sometimes with that 40 shooting. That's never good. He's not really in to shoot, but let's see what we could do again here. I want Vieira. Please, please give me Vieira. There you go. Good job, game. Mateus right back on it. His passing's lovely. His speed is lovely. The man could play Cam, could play CDM. He's one of those guys that could just do everything in the game, and you like having a guy like that on your team. That's why I didn't want to sell him. I tried to ball roll right there. That didn't come off. That's the only reason I didn't sell him, bros, because we could have sold Mateus for Ronaldo and kept Hullet and Valencia, but... I don't know, after reading comments and stuff, I just felt that Mateus is too hard to replace. He can do it all. Thierry Henry wants it, so why not feed him bad pass? Get there one more time, Bakayoko. He can't. Defensively, we're kind of wide open. My boy Lozano's back on D. Bakio, uh, Burkamp still with it. Good D. Good D, baby. And here he goes, Mateus, to start the counterattack. What is Bakioko doing playing outside Cam? I have no idea. Lozano, stop playing CDM and go play out there, please, because... My boy Bakioko needs to be inside. Get that for me. Thank you, sir. I might have Mateus. Mateus v. Bakioko. What's happening here? Can Bakioko deal with it? Can Bakioko deal with it? And of course not. Get off me, son. Of course not. Mateus. Ah! Mateus, get in. Shoot it, man. Wait, why did he shoot it? Wait, stop. That's cheese. Why did that guy shoot? To Cristiano. It's in. No, Ederson with a mean save. So, bro, since Bakioko's come in, we haven't suffered a goal. And I know I'm knock on wood, you know what I'm saying? Because we might suffer right here, but... Since he's come in, our midfield, because I, I just think it's the height thing, and probably because Mateus is a high high, he sometimes pushes up. Bakioko, you got to stop this, man. All on Bakioko. He stopped the first one. At least he slowed it down. Look at that. Cheese. Look at that cheese. Um, but, yeah, like I was saying, maybe it's the height. Maybe it's the fact that, you know, he, he's, a, he's a high high, which makes it uh, Mateus pushes up and then is not back there when we need him. Having a medium medium there is good. Right card's a medium medium. Hullet was a medium medium. So that's a big option as well. And like I said, I like Mateus' outside cam, so we're not going to sell Mateus to get a different CDM because I'll either run him as a CDM or as an outside cam. He's that good. He can do it all. But there's some Division 1 gameplay for you with our new team. Cristiano out there obviously doing his thing. Picked up four go Wow, there's four goals for Cristiano. My fault. Big boy Cristiano Ronaldo with four goals. Um, and that's what you want from your solo strike man so big ups to cr7 for that we we if you looked at halftime and saw his shots we literally would give a shot or two in the second half after we put an actual cdm in the game so definitely something to keep in mind if i do do right card i'm gonna do it in the next episode i know a lot of you guys like skills don't turn those red cards in you need them but if we do get the three icons when r9 comes out if he does require three icons boom we got them so that's that's a positive as well now of course we don't know what r9 is going to require but if he requires those three that could be good so boy nation i hope you guys enjoyed this episode ronaldo is back right card could be getting completed to join this midfield if he does luis hernandez would hit the super sub down here um, we would no longer really need Bakioko as a super sub, so we could go with two attackers. And right here would be right card, right card and Vieira CDMs, Mateus left cam. If we go into a 4 1 2 and 2, Vieira CDM, right card left CM, Mateus right CM, Lozano cam, Ronaldo left striker, Thierry Henry right striker, bada bing, bada boom, everybody on full cam, it'll be nasty. Valencia's back for 18,000, 15,000 coins, even cheaper, bro. 15,000 coins we got him for. And uh, one day we'll have his inform back, and one day we'll have Marcelo over there. But Till then, we got to rock out with this. Hopefully, you guys think I made a good move, and hopefully, you think the right card move is a smart one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love your faces. Big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys soon. Booyah. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Look at this team we're about to face up against. This team is absolutely mental. This is the Road to Foot Champions RTG Edition. We are 23 and 1. 23 and 1, bros. 23 wins, one loss. We're feeling good. We're feeling amazing. Uh, now, 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 now watch me, now watch me whip and, and watch me lose. Listen, bros, the thing is I was up 2-0. And I actually, I, I think I, I messed up this editing. I only show his second. I don't show his, do I show it? Maybe I do. Look at Mateus here, 2-0. And I shoot it, and De Gea saves it. That should have been 3-0. He scored a goal. I messed up on the editing. My fault. But he ties it up at 2-2. And then in the 90th minute, bros, in the 90th minute, Prime Ronaldinho steps into this thing and knocks us 
to 23 and 2 in the weekend league bros this episode's about to be lit we are about to complete an icon i think it's gonna be pretty cool for me to explain how i feel about this icon if you could smash a big old thumbs up for your boy uh th blow it up in the comments down below what was your your record for this weekend league and also Thank you to everybody who hit me up with the feedback. Y'all came to me and told me y'all like the series idea 